We are back, but this time we're going to Cape Town, South Africa. Come along, let's get this party started. What <laughs> night is it? Drink night. <laughs> are y'all ready for drink night tonight? It's the night before pork, so it's drink night. Okay, you guys. Oh my gosh, it is currently 12 a.m. And technically, we get to Cape Town, South Africa today in just a couple of hours. But I just finished packing. The things we have planned is unreal. That's all I can say. I'm just literally in shock at everything that is about to happen these next nine days. And I really think that this is going to be the best port yet. And I'm so excited. Okay, I'm going to give a little background for a second. Usually in ports, everyone just packs in a backpack. So you're kind of like backpacking and you don't really need to bring that much stuff. You're just, you know, got to you just bring what you need basically. Well, Cape Town is a little bit different just because we have so many things planned and so many things to do. So the girls literally physically can't pack in a backpack. So we are planning to pack for four days, the first four days, and then come back to the boat and kind of re regroup and pack for the last four days. And I'm so excited to bring you guys along. So see ya in the morning, Cape Town. When I say Saki, you say bomb. Saki. 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 Market, you guys, and it's so cute. It's literally like the flea market in LA. It's actually so fun. Cool thrifting going on. You guys, look what I just got. Literally as big as me. shopping all day long and I spent probably like $700 so I'm gonna give you guys a haul before we get ready for the night first thing from cotton on I've been wanting some PJ pants because it's starting to get like super cold on the ship and these were so comfortable so I got these and I got these if you can tell with their pinstripe. I also got this long linen black skirt. You tend to wear things like that on semester, I'd see. I needed some more socks, so I just got a pair of just high socks and then a pair of scrunch socks. A hair clip because my hair clip now is completely broken, but I've been having to use it. From the, the market we went to, I thought this was really cute. Um, with like a the, the right outfit next is Zara. I got two sets They're kind of the same thing, but white I love the top the top just was like made it for me It's just like this super baggy like raw cut Love it just so comfortable for the boat again. It's getting cold and then I got this like dark gray one I got this slip cheetah dress I thought it was really cute. Then got this short sleeve linen shirt, it's like button down. It's so cute. I loved that. And then I loved it so much that I got it in a long sleeve version as like a bathing suit cover up or just like if I'm cold. I got this pair of blue jean shorts. These barrel type jeans, like the barrel jeans from Free People. Definitely out of my comfort zone for sure, but I needed new jeans. And then I got these like really cool earrings zara has like the coolest jewelry so that's all we are now gonna get dressed for dinner in the night we made it to dinner Yay! we got dressed and now we're it literally looks so good i'm so glad we're going here but we're at the casino <laughs> Everyone say hello. Hello. Hi. I would just like to say that the first glass that was broken tonight was broken by Miss Riles. <laughs> I broke the first wine glass. Sober <laughs> break. Many more to come. Yeah, honestly. Happy 
happy next day. Everyone is not feeling the best this morning. Specifically Tegan. Specifically Tegan after our night out. I couldn't film in the club. They literally put stickers over our cameras, which I've never seen that before, ever. But they did that. And not only did they do that, um, it was a, mu a music festival after party. Literally, there was not one lyric, song lyric playing, and that really set me off. It was only beats, but some people enjoyed it. I didn't. I had to come home. But yeah, we slept until 10:30, which is kind of rare for us. We don't ever really sleep in the country. But now we're just gonna go explore. My SD card just ran out of storage, so I just went and like tried to delete old videos, but I deleted all the footage that I filmed so far. <laughs> So, should we give a little, a little quick check? We don't know what we're doing today. We have no idea. So, we have to be prepared for anything. We just said cute, casual. I got this hat yesterday. Probably missed that one because I probably deleted it. That looks so good. So good. Now we're taking a little walk along the beach. It's so cute. We finished breakfast at our place. Kind of like a hotel, it's like right in front of our hotel. Um, it was so yummy, everyone really enjoyed it. And now I'm just trying to figure out what we're doing for the day. The boys want to surf, so. Look how cute the hearts are. I came down here last night and made that. No, you didn't. Okay, for real though, I really, really love it here in Cape Town. This is the first time I've ever been like, holy crap, like I can really see myself living somewhere since coming on semester at sea. All of the places have been so amazing, but this place just feels like a big fat hug. I don't know how to explain it, but it's like Miami mixed with California in the best way possible. And I'm really enjoying it, so yeah. I love it here a lot. I keep texting my family like, I might move here one day, you never know. We have made it. <laughs> Gonna attract the <laughs> Plans for the day definitely changed, took a turn, and now we are at ATV. Place? Uh, Table Mountain. Table Mountain. Wonder of the world. It's wondrous. It wondrous. is wonders. Really wondrous. The whole gang is here. <laughs> Sorry, you missed it. <gasps> this is unreal. Oh my gosh. You guys, this is literally the most perfect thing ever. No one's there. Now we're out. Don't know what bar we're going to, but we will find one. That's for sure. Little fit check. Had to keep the hat on because I had really bad hat hair, hat head, so I had to keep it on for the night time. Recording? We are. Is it recording? Yes. Oh, good, good. Wait, it's raining. We are currently in Cape Town on Kloof Street. Kloof? <laughs> and we're going to the gas station. We are going to the gas station. Why do they call this the gas station? It's more like a convenience store. Oh, I can hear Riles. There they are. <laughs> oh, God. Wait, what did you walk in on? <laughs> what did you do? Uh, <laughs> we just finished dinner and now we're back at the club we were at last night, but it looks totally different um, because it is a Monday, so that's probably why. But we're still trying to party. 
<laughs> Today we literally just shopped and shopped all day long, which it was very needed. Now we're just gonna hang out. Tomorrow we have to be up early for a very long day. <laughs> I tried to get a video of you dancing with the dude and then the other dude swooped dead and started talking to you, but I was still recording. <laughs> you guys, we had a lot of fun last night. Woo! Yeah, we did. It was so much fun, but now we have to be on a boat for like, what, four hours? We're going shark diving, I think. I don't really know what we're doing. I'm just here along for the ride. I'm scared. <laughs> Apparently it's gonna be cold and we're gonna get seasick, so yay. Are y'all excited? Or what? Oh yeah. Everyone looks so dead. <laughs> Russian, it's so fun and like happy you? down there. <laughs> <laughs> Best yeah. time Woo! ever. So the last in so long we're currently off to a wine tour we have completely changed locations we are at the most beautiful house in Stellenbosch South Africa and I'm gonna have to just give you guys a tour later the wake-up call was 8 30 no the be ready time and downstairs was 8 30 and me and Tegan went around the whole house and no one was up at 8 30 I was up Airbnb is literally so big. It's setting up for a wedding right now. I forgot to give you guys a tour of this beautiful place that we're staying at. We're staying on a wine vineyard and it was the most beautiful mansion I've ever stayed in. It was the most beautiful time here. We only stayed here two nights because we're gonna go back to Cape Town for the last two, but the first night we literally all the boys just played tennis in the little tennis court right here and all the girls just like sat under this little like outdoor house. It was so much fun, like I loved every second of it. Last night we got in the jacuzzi and just hung out by the pool and it's been so dreamy and perfect here. I don't wanna leave, but I booked the Airbnb for the last two nights and it is also very beautiful. So we are about to go horseback riding and then I think lunch and then go to our last Airbnb of this port, I'm really sad. We're all packed up and ready to leave, so it looks kind of crazy, but we have a whole house crew cooking us breakfast, and look how perfect. We had breakfast out here yesterday, and I completely fell in love with this little room. Okay, I kind of want to give you 
you guys an update of kind of what's been going on, where we're at. I know it's been very hectic because we've been just like doing so much, going and going and going, and I haven't had any time to like stop and like talk to the camera much. And I've kind of just been trying to get it all like on video and film everything possible. So I'm just making a bunch of like montages. Um, but I'm gonna kind of give you guys the rundown of what we've been doing. The first three nights we stayed in Cape Town and it was so beautiful, so much fun. I made me completely fall in love with Cape Town and South Africa. We got a lot of shopping done. We went to markets, we went out like all three nights and it was so much fun. Then the next two nights we went to Stellenbosch which is like the wine country in South Africa and it was so beautiful. Our Airbnb was actually magical. Like, I felt like I was in the movie Saltburn. Yeah, I've never stayed at something like that in my whole entire life. Um, I didn't get to do like a house tour because we were so busy and we were only actually at the house for like 12 hours. And we like soaked up all 12 of those hours. We were up like all night having so much fun and it just kind of went by so fast. I didn't really have time to give a house tour and the house was so big that the house tour would be like 10 minutes long and like, it was just crazy, you guys. And now, the last two nights, we are staying in Camps Bay, and the place is so beautiful. If you can't tell, like, I'm literally in my room right now, and it's just the most beautiful thing ever. So I'm gonna kinda give you guys a house tour before the party gets started. I'm just so excited. I'm not ready to leave Cape Town. This has been, like, one of the best weeks of my whole entire life literally the best week of my whole entire life i love it here with my whole heart and i don't want to leave um but i'll give you a house tour first start off with my beautiful room i keep telling everyone this is actually my dream room like i'm not kidding the view is insane these windows like as long as i have like big windows in my house in my room like i will be forever set like everything is so perfect and my friends were so nice and because i booked the airbnb they like they all got here before me and they like saved the master room for me which get yourself some friends like that because that is so nice the party has already began <laughs> Cape Town, South Africa, I could actually cry because I'm saying those words right now. Um, but all of the girls are getting ready. We're going to a girls dinner because when we're in port, we never get girl time. We're always with the crazy ass boys. So all the boys decided to go to Nobu tonight and the girls just booked a different sushi restaurant, which I think is so much fun and I'm so excited um, to just be with the girls. We literally been playing music and getting ready together for the past like hour so that's what we have planned tonight um dinner and then we're gonna meet back up at our beautiful airbnb obviously um and then spend some more time here before we go to the club for the final night i'm super excited and i'm hungry let's get dressed okay i don't wear it anyways so i just decided to put on the trusty skims dress and then i'm wearing my doc martens because they kind of elongate my legs and that's kind of what i need right now 
oh my gosh jewelry and then i think i'm just gonna bring my leather jacket jewelry is very very important okay for jewelry i think i'm gonna wear some silver tonight okay we gotta go we're late girls yeah. night we love this girl time <laughs> Love it. Yay! It's so girl time. Yay! Cheers! Yay. Cheers! Yummy! I can't see you. Okay, so this is the reality of every time you come back to the boat, Hello you guys. Okay, so long time no talk because it is now like three weeks later after I just filmed this YouTube video. I have now been on the boat for a seven day stretch, went to Ghana for five days, and now I'm on my 10 day stretch to Morocco. Um, the last sea stretch was very, very, very hard for me. I kind of just was at my breaking point um it was very hard it was very very hard and i didn't think that i could like keep going um there's just so many things that i miss back home and it's just really hard i'm very homesick i'm very ready to be working on jane doe and being an influencer which i am and i'm still continuing that here obviously but it's definitely not reg regular programming for me at all which has been really hard um because i would have taught i want to talk to you like this every single day and that's usually what i do when i'm back home but i haven't been able to do that um because this is where i live and i have a roommate and um there's just so many factors. Being on the ship is so very hard and I am very grateful and I love every second of it, but I did have a really hard week. And I'm actually really excited to do like an after semester at sea video and kind of tell you guys like all the emotions I felt while being on the boat and while in country and how it was sometimes hard. I don't like to talk about like the hard times for me because people tend to take it as like I'm complaining and I'm not grateful and I'm tone deaf and all these other things. I'm very grateful to be here and I was in a funk for sure last week, but it's looking up. I'm so excited to go to Morocco. After Morocco, we have Portugal and then our last stop is Germany. So we only have three more stops. Um, and that literally just gave me chills. So I just kind of wanted to come in here and give a proper outro. I put off editing this video because I was just like, it's too much work. Like this, which is the reason why I don't ever continue posting on YouTube. It is a lot of work to film and edit. Um, but sitting in my bed, I've literally just done, that's all I've done today is edit. I have been at it for about like six hours so far and it just makes me realize like how much i actually love being in front of the camera and talking to you guys like i love it more than anything and i want to continue posting i am just really so excited to go home and get to film the at home content the college content and just I don't know it's just more me content being away and living on a ship is so hard to actually film for you guys and so much of the videos montages and it's hard to always have my camera in everyone's face and etc but i am trying my best i want to at least film one more video on the ship and then maybe another one um in another country i don't know let me know what you guys want to see from me because i only have i think like 28 days left so let me know. I love you guys so much and thank you so much for watching.